Who holds the Philly record for home runs in a season? Mike Schmidt, 48. Don Tollefson is synonymous with Philadelphia sports. With Don Tollefson. He started his career at Channel 6, setting the tone for the newly minted format there. He moved on to launch Good Day Philadelphia at Fox 29, where he later moved back to the sports department. Now, Tally is a sportscaster for Fox Sports and hosts his radio show, The Other Side of Sports, every week on ESPN Radio. But most close to his heart is the work he does with America's youth. As Tolly says, it's all about the kids. Well, we are here with the man, Don Tollison. Well, thanks for joining us. Very my pleasure. Glad to be here. All right. Uh, you know, you were, well, how were you first bit by the journalism bug? I really think that it was more the writing bug. I was very, very fortunate that uh, both my mother, I was raised in a, in a single parent home in California, both my mother and her mother, my grandmom really stressed the writing process and the writing skill when I was a little kid. And I really just enjoyed the process of writing, whether it was following a game on TV and writing my own little scores, stories or keeping the box scores or something like that. And I think that when I saw how journalism could give me an outlet where my writing would be seen by a lot of people, that was kind of a natural segue. And I know one of your first jobs, you were a writer for the Associated Press. Yep. I worked on uh, a couple of projects for the Associated Press that involved the Stanford community. And in those days, the 1970s, this was a lot of money, but you would get like 5 or $10 for each story. And sometimes it was just like a, a line score from Stanford baseball, for instance. And then when the Patty Hearst kidnapping occurred, which really in some recent historical books that I've been reading is considered in the in the 20th century probably second only to the Lindbergh kidnapping in terms of a high-profile celebrity kidnapping but when Patty Hearst who was a newspaper heiress was kidnapped Associated Press people called me up and said would you be interested in working on this for a couple of days because most people thought it would be a short-lived case and I ended up working as a, as a full-time reporter for them for six months on that case. Wow. And uh, you were discovered by ABC Sports through a nationwide talent search. How did that happen? It was one of those things where I often say, Barry, to young people, whatever their ambition may be, that the worst thing you can do is not try, despite what may seem like insurmountable odds. And ABC Sports back in the early 70s was conducting a nationwide talent search and each college or university that had at least, say, a Division I basketball team, if that was what it was called in the day, I don't know, but a team that played at the highest level of college basketball or college football, would nominate through their sports information department some young journalist who was working on campus who might be amenable to being on television at the national level, as in all of them. So there were hundreds of people in the talent search, and I was fortunate enough to be, uh, to be selected along with Jim Lampley in that talent search. Wow, that is amazing. And then, when well, you were hired at Channel 6, you were just a general assignment reporter. Yeah. Channel 6, which, as many people in this area know, if not most, has been traditionally the most ratings-dominant television station in the United States. Their, their historical news viewership levels are higher than any other television station in the country. And I think one of the reasons for their success is that when you first come there, as I did after having done college football for a season with ABC, they want to make sure before you anchor that you have a real feel for the Philadelphia region. And they want to make sure that you can pronounce Schuylkill, Yes. and Conshohock <laughs> and, and understand the difference between townships and boroughs and know that the Mummers Parade involves 2 Street and not 2nd Street. And they really feel that by putting people on the air, at least they did back in that day and age, putting people on the air as reporters, you have a better chance of them getting to know the area in a very detailed way. 